One of the things that I like to do to monitor myself online is to use Google Alerts and you can simply go to that by going to www.google.com forward slash alerts and you can put in a search query. I like to do this in quotes and I look for my name and I will get an alert and I want anything that comes up for me once a day is good enough. Um, for this I'm not super common, but I stick to only the best results, and I create an alert. And then I can go back to my page, and I can look for Meredith Winchester, result type everything, once a day, only best results, cc mary at gmail.com. You do need a Gmail account for this. Create alert. Google Alerts, manage your alerts, and so I'll sign in. Now this address is just for my YouTube channel. I've got bunches of email addresses with specific purposes. I have one just for junk mail for when I don't want to receive email when I want to look at a website. So you can see, actually I've got this one in here twice so I can delete it. And the nice thing is that this will actually send me a summary whenever I'm online, um, or whenever once a day, about any time that I appear online. I've discovered myself appearing in interesting news articles that I didn't know that I was in. This way I found out when the Northwest Herald was doing an article on one of the new programs that I'd written at MCC on our graphic arts program. It came up in the article, so I got to read it, which I wouldn't have seen otherwise. So far, I haven't had any negative surprises. I just like to keep an eye out on whatever's coming up for my name, because my reputation is very important to me. I also regularly will simply do a web search on my name. And I like to do it in quotes because that looks for the first word and the second word next to each other with a space between them. Yes, that is really me. That's me. That's me. That's definitely me. That's me. You can guys can go rate me online if you wish. Those are me. That is not. I don't know why. That person is there. It does not look like me. Those three are all me with different haircuts. Me, me, me. So, um, I generally like to keep an eye and make sure that anything that's appearing is either inoffensive or if it's really me that it's accurate. I don't mind that it's out here. And I've used search engine optimization to take a little more control. If you actually go in and type in Mary space help with nothing else, the first two things that you should get are my website and my YouTube site which is connected to my website which should you ever want to go back and see any of the tutorials on how to do things, about 90% of them are up here. Things that are specific to the courses that I'm teaching is in our server and directions how to get onto that, I don't always put up here. But anything that's just generic, like how to use visual logic, web design, things like that, about 90% of my videos are available and searchable. So if you wanted to go, say, learn masking, in Flash, or you can do a search and search there as well, and that would bring up my masking lecture. So search exists externally with Google and other search engines. It also exists inside of web pages. And one of the things that I like best is Google Alerts. Then anything that I'm really following, and I do that for personal information, but on my real email account I actually have um, many different topics that I'm interested in and it just gives me a summary of the best of the web at the end of each day. So this is another way where you can automate search and have it sent to you.